Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a granite texture inside of Photoshop. Later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to use that granite texture to create this polished stone text effect as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Start off with a 500 by 500 pixel document. We're going to use this to create our texture. I've already set my foreground background colors. The background color is going to be 633913. And our foreground color is going to be FFF8E5. So go ahead and set those before we get started. You can also change these colors to anything that you need to create this effect with uh, different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my pattern here and I'm going to show you one that I created before. So I have this blue stone texture that I used with just a darker blue color and a very light, almost white blue. Starting with these two colors right here, you'll just change up your colors. Go ahead and click on that first layer and click on Command and Delete on a Mac or Command and, I'm sorry, Control and Backspace on a PC to fill that with that background color. Once you have that, we can go ahead and right click, convert this to a smart object, now we're going to start working with the filters. All right, now we can come up to filter, then filter gallery. We're going to be working inside of this artistic folder and we're going to be using sponge. Our settings are going to be brush size 2, definition 25, and our smoothness is going to be 2. We'll go ahead and add another texture here. All right, for our second texture, we're going to be using the chalk and charcoal texture that's going to be right here inside of the sketch folder and it's the second one right here go ahead and click on that our settings for the charcoal area are three chalk area is going to be eight and our stroke pressure is going to be two okay let's go ahead and add down here another filter for our third texture we're going to be using plastic wrap that's going to be right here inside of the artistic folder Go ahead and click on that and the settings for this one are going to be 6, 10 for detail and our smoothing is going to be 5. Alright, go ahead and add another filter down here and for this last one we're going to be using a filter called Film Grain. That's also right here inside of the artistic folder so we'll go ahead and click on that. The settings for this are going to be 14. Our highlights are going to be our grain is going to be 14, highlights going to be 16, and our intensity is going to be 10. You should have something that looks like this at this point. We're going to click OK. Now that's our, our texture. I'm going to go ahead and come back up to filter, go down to other and offset. We're going to offset this by half the size of the document, which is 250 horizontal, 250 vertical. Click OK. This is wrap around, by the way. And click OK. So we'll go ahead and right click and rasterize layer. Now we're going to come up to this spot healing brush tool. Just brush over those center areas where you can see that line. And if you see too much of one color or another, you can just come in and click around. All right, once you're happy with the way it looks, we're going to come back up to edit define pattern and we'll call this granite. Right now that we have that set up, we're going to go ahead and open up a new file. And we'll make this 2000 by 1000 pixels. Go ahead and click create. I'm going to go ahead and fill the background with this uh, color that we have set up. So it's like a light yellowish brown color. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the layer, double click, and then uh, inside of layer styles, I'm just going to add a pattern to it. So I'm just going to use this right here, this leather pattern that I have. Now if you want to learn how to make a leather pattern, I do have a video for that. I'll go ahead and leave a link up in the description. Otherwise, just a plain colored background is fine for this. We're going to go ahead and add the text in. And we'll change the font. Our font is going to be this one, Bebas New, regular. Our size is really going to depend. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that 
and just make it bigger. Our word, the word that we're using is stone. Okay, so something about that size is fine. Remember, we're going to add our other letters up here on the top. So let's take a look at these settings one more time. Babus new regular. Uh, I have it at 563 pixels. We can go ahead and take it up to 575. Um, and then uh, tracking is zero. Everything else is fine. So those are the settings for this text. Now we're going to go ahead and start applying some layer styles to this. Okay, so let's come back over here to our layers. Double click over here on the far right hand side of the layer to bring up the layer styles. And we're gonna start off with a bevel and emboss. So I've done this once before, so you're gonna see a lot of the settings already set up in here, but we'll go through them either way. Uh, our style is gonna be inner bevel, technique is smooth, depth is 420. Our direction is up, size 32, soften 0. For our shading, the angle is going to be 90 degrees. We have use global light checked off. The altitude is 30 degrees and we're using a gloss contour called Valley Low. So this contour is going to be right here at the bottom if you don't see it because a lot of these are not loaded by default so you can come over here to this little gear icon and just choose contours that's going to load the remaining contours in and then you'll find this contour right here valley lows this is the one that we're going to use our highlight mode is screen and our color here is basic white fff fff and our opacity is 86 percent shadow mode multiply and the color here is D9D6D1. And the opacity is all the way up to 100% for that. Now we're going to go ahead and add a contour. And the contour is a default linear contour at 50%. Now we'll come over to inner shadow. For the inner shadow, our settings are multiply. Our color here is going to be B1B0AA. Opacity 75%. Check off global light. Uh, our angle is going to change to 120 degrees. Our distance is 32. Our size is 32. Contour is linear. Uh, zero noise and that's going to be it for the inner shadow. We're going to come over to color overlay for the color overlay Our blend mode is multiply and our color here is FD F3 E8 Opacity is all the way up to 100% Okay, let's go ahead and move on to a drop shadow. Go ahead and add that in there for the drop shadow, we're going to be using multiply as our blend mode. Our color is 3E, 3E, 3E. Opacity 75%, angle 120 degrees, distance is 0, spread is 0, size is 32. Our contour is a linear contour, 0 noise. And that's pretty much it for our stone, our polished stone look. Uh, the only other thing that we have to do is go ahead and add that pattern in. So we're going to click on pattern, come down and choose the pattern that we just created. So this is our pattern um, and we have it scaled up to 300%. You can bring it up or down just to get the look that you like. So I'm going to leave mine at about 200 and I'll click OK. So we're going to go ahead and add the the white stone. Click on my text and go ahead and set this up. Put it in the right area right here and then we'll come over to the character panel here on the side and we're going to use a different I'm just going to use this one. I use this a lot so I'll just go ahead and use this again. It's called Bloom and Pharaoh if you're interested in what uh, font I am using. So we'll go ahead and go 145 on that. Uh, tracking zero. We'll go ahead and uh, change the color of this text to this color right here, which is FFF 
8E5. We'll click OK on that. Uh, once we have all of that set up, we can double click here on the far right hand side to bring up the layer styles. All right, the first thing we're going to work on is the bevel and emboss. For the bevel and emboss, we are doing inner bevel technique is smooth. Depth is going to be 450. Direction is up. Our size is 16. Soften is zero. Angle 120 degrees at altitude 30 degrees. Our contour is the same that we used before, the valley low contour. A highlight mode is screen, and we're using just a basic white, FFF, FFF. Opacity 75%. Our shadow mode is multiply, and we're using F4EDE2 as our color for that uh, shadow. Our opacity is 75%. All right, we're going to add a contour, and this is just going to be a basic linear contour at 50%. All right, let's move on to our inner shadow. For the inner shadow, we are using multiply. Our color here is D7D5B3. Opacity 75%, angle 120. Distance is 10 and our size is 12 pixels. We're using a linear contour and we'll move on to the color overlay. We'll go ahead and click on that. Blend mode is multiply and we're using FFFCF3. So a very, very light color, uh, almost white, but not quite. And now we'll move on to our drop shadow. The drop shadow settings are blend mode multiply. Our color here is 555, 555. Our opacity for the blend mode is 50%, angle 120, distance one. Our size is eight pixels. We're using a linear contour. So this one down here has a more of a beveled look and this is a more rounded style. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Until next time, thanks for watching.